Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya. I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Hey guys, here to insert a little clothing haul for you guys. I know you guys love seeing what I'm wearing and what I'm shopping for, so I'm really excited to share with you guys really cute, girly pieces from Romway. Romway is sponsoring this portion of today's video, so I just want to say thank you to them and thank you to you guys for making these opportunities possible possible for me. Excited for the pieces I picked out. It is festival season here in Cali so I picked up a lot of pieces that I feel like I would wear for like Coachella. I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to Coachella. We'll find out. We'll find out. I did pick up some pieces just in case and also just pieces I would wear regularly at the same time but also pieces I would style for like Coachella or like a festival. Let me go ahead and just stop rambling let's get started first thing i have is the cutest little shorts these look like bloomers but it also looks like it's a skirt at the same time it literally looks like a cupcake i've actually worn this already for a little afternoon tea with one of my friends and it looks so cute and i just absolutely adore the skirt i love how it has like the little bow i feel like romway has really unique different pieces that you just wouldn't find anywhere else and especially like these ruffles i love how it goes from like fabric to lace on the ruffles and this is just really really pretty on really love the way that this looked also have this cute little top of course this could just be like a basic piece that you could wear with anything i'm obsessed with the little rosette in the middle but this could also be a cute little festival type outfit with like cute pantyhose like just imagine like lace pantyhose this cowgirl boots give very festival but coquette vibes basically I've been loving like a western coquette look i did pick up these boots which i will be wearing with some of these outfits look how adorable that these are they're just white boots i do have the pink version of these that i got in my last runway haul if you guys did not see that i will obviously link that it's white cowgirl boots are a staple the cowgirl boots i actually envisioned this gorgeous dress as a very coachella vibe of outfit I love the floral print on this dress. I love green and pink together, as you guys know. Festival season also lands in the spring, so a cute spring look I think would be perfect. And I love that it has a little bow on the chest area as well. It's super stretchy in the back, and it has like this lace detailing. There's just so many details on these um, pieces of clothing from Romway. Bottom also has like a fairy looking like bottom to it, like flowiness, giving like Tinkerbell. So I really love this. This is like what Tinkerbell would wear to Coachella. Shirt um, that's going to go with another skirt. So this is it right here. This is going to be more of a boho, chic, coquette, western type of vibe with the boots. Of course, you don't have to wear those boots with it. I'm just wearing them because I got these for the haul. So this is what it looks like. It's just like kind of gives like vintage vibes, you know, with the floral. This does tighten a bow, which... I guess I accidentally untied. Let me just fix that. A little bow. You guys know I'm a sucker for anything with a little bow in the middle. And I did get this adorable like skirt to go with it. It does have like a vintagey type of pattern to it. And I love the bottom of this. It's so pretty. It'll just be really cute with like this top as well. The top was not your vibe. You could totally wear this one with that skirt or even with the other skirt this one is so nice and just warm this might be a little too hot for coachella this might be something you you carry with you and throw on at night so you're not cold type of thing but it has the cutest bow right there and i love the ruching on this area because stuff like that is just so flattering and girly i love how the sleeves cuff and this material is super soft i don't know what this is like fleece yes it does have like that waffle material that i really love and i love the crochet detailing around the neckline as well the next piece would be something you wear if you get cold at coachella it is this gorgeous sweater right here that has like this floral like crochet detail can we not this is gorgeous you guys know i have a strawberry sweater that looks like this which i think it's also on runway but the roses it's just giving spring and summer and i just feel like i love the roses way more than the strawberries as well also love how like the green on this on the roses is dark so it gives a really nice contrast and this feels such good quality it's like heavy that was everything from runway you guys i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little festival outfit ideas as well as just what i would pick from runway for the spring summertime 
All right, let's go ahead and get back into the video. For today, my makeup's all done and ready because I'm going to my friend Diana's tea party. And it's a couple hours away, so I'm not gonna ramble here too much because I have to get changed, show you guys my outfit and stuff, but I did film a makeup tutorial on my makeup channel of this look. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna link that below. Yes, I'm back. Yes, I am so refreshed after that little break. I'm inspired to film for you guys, but I have such cute pink curly things going on this weekend. I'm really excited. I'm going to get changed, show you guys my outfit, and we're gonna get out the door it's super gloomy today but i had to give you guys an intro and tell you guys that i did record a tutorial on this look if you're interested so yes i am also posting on my makeup channel i'm trying to post once a week guys but i'm gonna be real you guys have to be my low maintenance besties on that channel because i don't know how that's gonna go i'm trying to also finish my latte look at how cute this cup is from vna i'm gonna link this below okay let's get changed this is my dress for the day. It is from Zara. I snatched this so quickly when I saw it. Look how precious it is and it looks so beautiful on. I am steaming it. I have my handheld steamer on right now, ready to go. And then this dress right here is for tomorrow. It's from a designer named Chloe Collette. I will link this as well. And yeah, these are my outfits for the weekend. <laughs> I'm ready to go. This is my outfit. I hope you guys can see it in full on the camera because I am so blind. I literally cannot see that before. But if not, I will show you guys my outfit. Once we're at Diana's, I'm sure there will be plenty of clips of it. I'm obsessed. Again, the dress is from Zara. This little bolero, lace boleros from Timu as well as the gloves. My bracelet is vintage. My earrings, um, these are from Target, uh, Sugar Fix. And my heels, back. These fluffy heels are from Miss Lola. The little bows in my hair are from Timu as well. So everything will be linked below for my outfit. Let's get out the door. I'm wearing my new Miss Dior. So excited because it smells incredible. Guys, we are here at Diana's house for tea party and her doorbell camera is recording me. Look how cute. It's so spring. I just love her house. I have hair on my lip gloss. This is the most annoying thing ever. Y'all look so cute! <laughs> you get the content. <laughs> from Diana's bathroom so my husband and her husband are good friends and they ended up wanting to spend more time together tonight and watch a movie I'm having a little sleepover and literally I'm stealing all of Diana's things because I didn't plan to to stay so I, I actually was gonna bring a duffel bag of my stuff but then like Mandy was like no we'll just drive back I should have known better I should have known better just brought the brought the duffel bag so I'm stealing all of Diana's stuff we're currently doing pink skincare and coffee and then we're gonna get ready this is her little hair cart and go shopping to home goods do you want to say hi 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 beautiful <laughs> your phone stand. so you guys are gonna laugh but they fell asleep watching the movie together in diana's like uh main bedroom so diana and i had a sleepover in her daughter's room <laughs> oh, i just saw manny's head poking in in the morning he's like hello <laughs> a reel so I'm setting up my tripod and we're gonna do like our little like get dressed with me so Diana has like her outfit we have a few tripods I brought my purse I'm gonna borrow one of her dresses because I obviously did not bring anything I did bring these cute shoes to like flat shoes to change into though so I'm just gonna wear these These are 
they're super pretty. Oh, this is so cute. The Barbie cups, I saw these last time. I kind of babies. This is the nicest Barbie one I've ever seen, but it's oh, green. Oh, nice. I like green. And there's this one too. It's not bad. It's the type of wine glass I need. I love that. We need two of those for when we're together. <laughs> This home goods just is like jackpot. A Chanel book for $30. Real Chanel book for $30. Look how pretty this book is. It's like pink and gold. I've been wanting fashion books forever because I have some but they're like really little and then I have fake ones that I like I DIY. Have really little ones too. Hey guys, it's a new day and I am setting up for something cute with my friend Gabby. She, unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it to the tea party this weekend so I set up a little tea party for two for us. Let me show you guys. This is what I have going on right now. Um, I have some PR clothes that didn't fit me which I'm just gonna give to her. So I put them in that little bag because it's cute. And we're ready for a little tea time. So my friend Diana kindly gifted us uh, one of the cakes that didn't get eaten at her tea party this weekend so we're gonna be having that cake moved <laughs> but this is the cake um i'm gonna try to carefully put it back on its little plate okay this is a cake i had it refrigerated and this is diana's like cake and her cake is so yummy i'm so excited to have this tea and this cake I am getting ready. I already did my hair, brushed my teeth. I'm kind of going to throw on some skincare. I did do my serum already, but I need to do like moisturizer and stuff. And I have a whitening strip on my bottom teeth. So if I'm talking funny or that looks weird or you notice I'm like, like I said, talking funny, <laughs> that is why. I'm just going to apply some moisturizer. I'm still using my Marianne May. It is almost gone. We are getting through it. Moisturizer and then I'm also going to apply, actually I should have applied SPF first. Oh well, we're just gonna mix it all together because I totally forgot. But I've been really adamant about getting my SPF, my skincare. Really a get ready with me video anyway. This is more like of a vlog, but you know, it's always fun to put in getting ready clips. By the way, I am putting on sunscreen and I do bring it all the way down to my chest because I started getting these new little like mole things and I'm pretty sure it's because of the sun ever since I moved to California and the sun a lot more so it's only like two but you know I want to prevent from getting more I guess I got a package <laughs> that's many by the way the sunscreen I use is from burst it looks like this it's just like a hell yellow kind of like my shirt L. so anyway we're both getting ready. Once all of that sets in, I'd like to apply a makeup primer. I've been using this glowy makeup serum by Laneige, or Laneige. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I don't know you guys probably want updates about my back and like my health um, because I did leave you guys kind of hanging on that a little bit. So um, they did find out I have a, um, I have degenerative disc disease, mild. I guess I had like inflammation, which is what was causing my pain basically saying it was inflammation mixed with the degenerative disc disease that's what was causing my pain um yeah that's literally the only answer that i have for you guys i got mris i got ct scans i got x-rays nothing else wrong in there none of my other organs are having any issues and i just have to try like physical therapy and fixing my posture and stuff like that to see if it resolves anyway i'm opening my mail oh so i ordered this they had it on shein i'm gonna link it down below for you guys so you guys remember um i did a review on this foundation not long ago they had a miniature version of it on shein so i just had to get it because the compact is just the cutest thing so of course look at how baby it is compared to the full size i'll link both of them below but they're so cute to use this foundation for today so i'm glad i went ahead and pulled it out skin is nice and soft I'm gonna spray a little hydrating. I have this like glossy box hydrating mix, so I just wanna spray it. I do my eyes. I got this new mirror as well from 
um, fancy and it is the cutest thing. There's like hair on it. I was plucking my eyebrows. This is what I've been using as like my makeup mirror recently. Put on foundation and this foundation, it's like amazing. I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but it really works and it looks like skin but it covers your blemishes in a natural way okay i'm probably gonna fast forward through the rest of this get ready with me because i don't have that much time like to talk through the whole thing so that's what we're gonna do for the rest of this little get ready with me part again and my camera dies i'm sorry guys that you didn't get to see the rest of the get ready with me but i'll link all the products i used down below and of course you'll see my finished face <laughs> This is my friend Fernanda. I don't think you guys have ever met her. We met because we both did a Shein documentary. And I know it's loud here, so I'm gonna stop talking, but look how beautiful she is. And we were just talking about us looking at the camera and not the viewfinder, and I was doing that. I just have such good match right here. Look at her hair. I always compliment her hair. I have to touch it every time because I don't want to give her opal. <laughs> this is my hair goal, guys. Beautiful. It's real. I saw my outfit, so I did change my shoes because um, the other ones, like my feet were just dying in them. These are more like flats. But yeah, this is what I wore today. The dress. This dress is also from Fashion Nova. I'll link it. I have a Fashion Nova haul going up pretty soon which you guys will see everything you guys will see this dress and the other dress as well in that haul i just haven't edited yet but yes hey my loves it's the next day i'm home filming a bunch of really cute videos for you guys i did like a shopping for my dream summer and spring wardrobe It'll be it very very soon for you guys but i did want to hop on here and just give you guys an outro for today's vlog I would vlog more today, but honestly, I feel like this vlog is long enough, so if I do vlog today, that will just be in a different vlog. Although I probably won't be vlogging try-on clips of all of these clothes. So that's gonna be my day today, so I feel like it's not that interesting. I will do a work day in my life soon if you guys want to see that, but for today, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the vlog here. I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. I This is one of my favorite vlogs I've done in a while, so I really hope you guys felt it through the screen. I have to go, guys, because I have to get these clips filmed. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.